favorites. It's technically June favorites, but we're already into July like quite a bit, so I guess we'll call it July favorites too. <laughs> I've been really, really bad at filming lately um, with everything going on. It's just been, I don't know, I just feel like I have no ideas for videos. Um, so if you have any ideas of good videos, please let me know because I am like dried up on video ideas but i'm just going to get right into it and start talking about my june july favorites <laughs> my first one is a setting spray and it is the morphe continuous mist setting spray um this is not like a new favorite i really love the morphe setting spray i've already like i think i've already talked about it before but this is the uh, limited edition sweet peach from the sweetie collection and this smells so good like you know the uh, uh, peachos, like the peach ring candies? This literally smells exactly like that. It has the same mist and it's like this little cute like mini version. Um, the other one is, I'm not sure how big the other one is, but this is like half of what the usual one is. And it's, it's just, it's adorable and I love it. And I'm very glad that I picked this up. And also, you know, the color, the packaging, just everything. It's all cute. And the next is from Touch and Soul. It is a lip product. This is like a balm. It's like a lip stain balm type thing. It's kind of like the um, the balms from NARS. Like these little, um, this is the orgasm balm. Um, it's just like that, except this one is from Touch and Soul. So it is cheaper. And this one is like an orangey color. And it's just so pretty. So like it looks super orange. But then like when you put it on your hand, it's just like kind of a, a light corally color. And it's just super, super duper pretty. Um, Touch and Soul sent this to me to try and it's just, oh my God, I love it so much. It's so pretty. Um, I want like every color now. This one is the color, uh, it doesn't actually say on it. Where is it? Oh, here it is, Juicy Peach. Um, it's on the back. But um, these are so pretty and really hydrating and just really, really nice on your lips. Enjoy that weird close up of my mouth. Um, I actually have a lot of lip products this time, which is really weird because I don't usually use lip products. So it's strange that I have so many to talk about this month. Um, the next one is a liquid lip from Makeup Geek Cosmetics. I got this at Target. They sell Makeup Geek in some Targets. Um, this is in the shade Salsa and is like the prettiest, like orangey, warm color. And I absolutely love it. I've used it, um, in a look before and I absolutely love the way it like came out. It was, it just like worked with my coloring. It's really pretty. The formula is really comfortable on the lips. Um, it's just really, really nice. I would definitely recommend these if you like liquid lips, but you hate how drying they are. This one is like just not drying at all. It's really pretty and it stays so nice. Also the packaging is really weird and cute. So there's that. <laughs> and the next one is a lipstick from the brand Carmella. I actually found them on Instagram and she sent this to me and I'm really excited to try it or not try it to um, show you. <laughs> and I'm very like, oh, I'm just in love with this color. I'm obsessed with like this smoky purple look. I'm very into purple tones and this is just so pretty. Let me put it on my hands so you can see how beautiful it is. Oh, it's just, it's everything. I love it and it stays so nice like this is one of those bullet lipsticks that stays on your lips it's not like the kind where it's like too creamy and you have to reapply it constantly it just it stays and it stays really nice so this is so so great if you like bullet lipsticks and you like this color i will link the uh website down below they're great um next is a concealer this is the revolution fast base concealer um, it's had like really mixed reviews on the Ulta website, but I wanted to try it. I just really liked, you know, the little poof thingy, the way you put it on. I thought it was cute and it was like a cheap concealer. So I was like, I'll give this a shot and see if I like it. And I really, really like it. It's a super thin formula. It's a very light coverage. Um, so I think that's why people aren't like big into it because it's not as, I don't know, it's not as covering as you might want, but I love it for summer because it's really light and it doesn't, does it make my face feel so heavy it's just like a really nice light coverage smooth like soft concealer it blends out super duper easy and it's just it's really really pretty so i recommend this i like it a lot if you want like just like a thin concealer for summer this is a good option um next i actually have two bronzers um which is rare for me because bronzers are a hard thing for me to find because they always look too warm toned on my skin and i struggle with getting one that like works for my skin tone. So having two is, you know, we're killing it. And the first is the Zoeva. Ugh, the only thing I hate about this packaging, it's so pretty, but it gets so many fingerprints. Ugh, 
but this is the Zoeva Radiant Bronzer Highlighter. So it has the bronzer and highlight. So it's this bronzer in this section that has a highlight in this section. The highlight is fine. It's not the best highlight in the world, but it's a nice highlight. But the bronzer is really, really nice. It's just like a nice soft bronzer. It's just enough for someone like me with very light skin to get like a soft bronze. I really enjoyed this one. Uh, I just like tried this on a whim. No one had really had any like reviews or anything about it yet. It was pretty new. Um, but I gave it a shot and I really, really like it. And they have a lot of different shades. It's a really good shade range in this one. So that is very nice. Another one with a very good shade range is my next one. It is the Morphe uh, Glam Bronze. And this is in the shade Mastermind, which I believe is their lightest shade for this bronzer. I'm obsessed with this. This is the best bronzer I think I've ever had. I love it. I might love it more than my butter bronzer. And I love that a lot. So this is just so pretty. The pan size is huge. I just, I love the packaging. They had this come out a while ago, but then they like repackaged them. And they came in like the red gold packaging before. Now they're this like black sleek packaging and it's just, it's great. And they came out with so many shades, like so many shades. It's amazing. And I know that everyone's kind of like hating Morphe right now. And a lot of times, a lot of people hate Morphe a lot of times, but this is a really good bronzer and I really, really like it. Um, and my final thing is from Nabla and it is the Nabla Cutie Palette in the shade Platinum. Um, they have like a bunch of these different little like cutie palettes, which is the six shades. Um, they just came out with, I think they came out with three more. They had two originally and they just came out with three more. This is the platinum version because I love me some like smoky brown cool tone looks. This silver is insane. Like I wasn't going to swatch it, but I can't resist. It's like I have tin foil on my finger. Okay. Like, oh my God. It is like wet. It's so, so beautiful. I have never found a better silver in my life. Um, and I love a good smoky eye with like a silver top. So this is just like, oh my God, this is such a pretty palette. I'm so, so glad I bought this. It's sold out like all the time on their website, but it wasn't sold out this time. So I picked it up and I do not regret it. I now want to try like all of the Knobla Cutie palettes because this is amazing. And if this is what their formula is, then I need more of it in my life <laughs> because it is absolutely beautiful. Anyway, that is my June, July favorites. Um, thank you so much for tuning in. And you know, if you have ideas for videos, feel free to give them to me because I need them. I need ideas. I don't know what to do. <laughs> thank you so much for watching. If you want to be notified every time I upload a new ranting video like this, just hit subscribe and you'll be notified every time I upload. Thank you.